What's up, guys? It's Paul here with you again, bringing another movie review. This is Ride Out Reviews, and we're going to review scary stories to tell in the dark. Now, if this is your first time checking out the channel, what we do here is trailer reactions, TV and movie reviews, as well as a Christian perspective. And a Christian perspective is a view of the gospel or application to scripture that we can actually find in movies and television shows that we watch. Hey, if that's anything that you guys think you might want to check out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell as well. That way you'll get notified of all the videos that come out whenever they come out. Now. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is a cool, a little scary, intense, and fiendishly good uh, movie. I think it did a great job because it was a, a, a book that I used to read when I was a kid. I was also a goosebump reader and all that stuff, so I just really liked those kind of stories when I was a kid. But they adapted it to television, and they did a really good job with it. So the story is about a young girl, Stella, and her friends. And so they go to a haunted house and they find this book. Stella finds a book and she takes it away from the house. And this awakens something. So the book begins to tell stories and these stories become reality. And it starts to uh, cause her friends to disappear. So let's talk about the good. The good is the tone of the movie was very good. I think it kept an intense scary creepy feel the entire time and it felt smooth the whole way i never was taken out at any time it even had some uh, points to it too that kind of referred to some things like racism and uh being a part of a country or a part of what people think that we should be in the country i also um thought it was a good acting the two leads did a very good job man you know, I think uh, people say kids don't act very well sometimes, but this movie, well, they're not kids. They're actually teenagers, but they did a good job in this movie, man. Wonderful job. The creepiness was awesome, too. It was on point. So the characters that they uh, uh, were written about were like a scarecrow and then like the jangle man and that scarecrow. Woo man, that was intense. That thing looks so scary. You should see it in the trailer, man. Woo, so scary. Mr. Jangles looked pretty freakish too. It was, it was nuts. And then the uh, big toe lady. Ooh, man. So they did a good job on that CGI and stuff. I thought that was great. So those were the good. There's more good to it. I think that uh, also the error, the the time, not the error, but the era, uh, was good because I felt like I was in that time. They had. TV shows that come on. They also talked about things that happened. The president was on TV. The clothes, the school, kind of like that bop type thing. It was, uh, uh, I think it was quintessential of those areas. So I felt like I was a part of that time frame. And I don't think that um, anything that they did in the movie seemed dumb or stupid. Actually, the girl, normally, you know, people don't realize what happened so soon. They're like, uh, oh, but the crowd's like, I can't believe you just didn't try this first. But she did instantly. And so to me, I thought, wow, that was that's great, dude. I think they finally actually made a character that was smart. So I thought that was good. The bad, well, I think that the movie probably could have been a little bit scarier. But I know that they did this because they wanted to bring a newer generation into scary movies. Plus, this is more of a, a younger, a young adult uh, type scary movie because that's the kind of book that it was when they wrote. So I can't fault them for that. I just know that me, I would I would enjoy it to maybe a little bit more intense, but it was still all around a good movie. There's nothing bad. Now, is the movie redeemable? So what that means is, should we go watch it? Is As a Christian, me personally, should I go watch the movie? I think it is redeemable, definitely, because it's not anything that is, is really bad in this. There's hardly any cussing. Uh, there's hardly, uh, there's no blood at all, I don't think. There is uh, just some intense scenes, some scariness that goes on. Oh, also, while I, while I say that, you should check out this rating. Uh, I think it'll be here or here. And then why we rate it that way. 
But um, yeah, there wasn't anything like that. Plus it had a positive message too, talking about how words have power, that words can heal and words can harm. And even in trying to heal from the harm that's been caused, that harm can't be overturned anyway. It can only get better because uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good movie. I, I didn't want to spoil it for you, so. but it's awesome. I hope you guys go check it out. You should go see it in the theaters because ain't nothing better than watching on the big screen with that surround sound around you. If you like this review, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. All right, it lets me know that I'm going in the right direction. As well, uh, go ahead and put some in the comments. If you saw the movie or if you were a fan of the book when you were younger, uh, let me know. And if there's a number two book, too, and if you think they're going to make another movie, man, a, a sequel to this, let me know, too. Put that in the comments. Now, I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.